Guys, it has been a whirlwind um, for us and for our family. But ministry wise, things are things are just moving right along. Um, I, I had a really busy fall of of recruiting and doing work with uh, Surge's renewal department. Um, I work in uh, mobilization and in renewal, and so I've been working with people. Uh, to see if they would possibly want to deploy to um, the 1040 window, which is the region that I recruit for now. Um, it's really helpful that we spent so many years in North Africa um, because it gives me um, just a perspective and an ability to help people discern whether or not that region uh, or a harder kind of um, less reached region is something that they would uh that they would be able to do and want to do, uh, want to live in. So um, I'm really thankful for that. And I really do enjoy, um, I consider it a form of discipleship, um, coming alongside people, helping them discern calling um, to the field. And so that's really exciting. Uh, last assessment and orientation, which was in the beginning of December, we, uh, we, sent two we have uh one couple and one single woman uh are going to be deployed one couple is going to north africa to our very first location so that's kind of exciting um and then another uh woman she's a pediatric nurse is going to be going to south asia uh to work in a hospital and so um it's just really fun to see see that happen i will say the prayer request is that recruiting is slow um and that the younger generations, especially millennials and Gen Z, tend to be a lot more risk averse. And so the idea of just leaving everything and going, it, it doesn't really speak to them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're really working on that, um, especially with our short term opportunities of really presenting ways for younger people to engage with um, overseas mission in order to see if there's a fit. So we have an apprenticeship program and an internship um, and then short term teams. And so um, it's really great to get like a, a recent college graduate or seminary graduate to go and do an apprenticeship for two years. Oftentimes they stay on and become long-term workers, not always, but oftentimes because they see, they just need that kind of assurance that they can do it before they, they make the commitment. So um, I think all of us are, you know, churches, mission organizations, ministries all around, we're, this is something that we're all going to be um, learning you know, how to come alongside um, the younger, younger folks along the way here, because they definitely have different mentality and a different approach to things. So um, just definite prayer for that. This week, uh, someone had, had told me that their children had told them because they're, they're into world missions. And the, the children said, I think it's wrong for you to try to go to other countries and proselytize. They just yeah. totally didn't get it and not only didn't get it, but thought that it was offensive and wrong. And it's yeah. that great white savior thing. And that's that's not it, right? No, that's not it. And so really, we really need to be clear and communicate. We can't assume that people understand yeah. and, and get it necessarily. And so we're really trying to work on yeah. our messaging and our recruiting in that way. Yeah. Uh, so that's what's going on with recruiting. Uh, and then as far as... Um, Renewal work is concerned, um, you know, our renewal department at Surge, um, we put out a lot of different um, publications and we offer short uh, retreats and longer uh, week long conferences. And um, I've been able to start speaking and teaching as well as mentoring uh, in these. And that's really it's really a joy um, to be able to participate in those things. And so um, I was able to do that a lot this fall and that was fun. Um, and I'm hoping to schedule another gospel centered life, um, up in a gospel centered life weekend in Pittsburgh. Again, um, the one that we did up at, uh, first Pres in Beaver was really great. And, um, it was, it was well attended. 
Uh, but there's so many more people. So I, I would love to do one closer uh, to the city, <clears throat> you know, in a church that, you know, could probably host it and handle it. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if there's anybody out there that could do that. Right. Um, Talk. And- <laughs> Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. No, we've got a building. We've got a place. Let's That's talk. right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's such a great thing. So anyway, we can talk more about that, Paul. Um, and then uh, and then finally, I would say uh, the big news for us right now is that, well, there's a couple things. Um, one is that May is currently studying in North Africa oh. this semester. All right. Back to the, the place where she grew up. And it is really cool. She is having the time of her life. Um, She's a Middle Eastern studies major. And so it's just kind of cool to see how, um, you know, the fruit of of what it means to go overseas and bring your kids with you and then seeing them, you know, take an interest um, in that. Um, And so she's Air Force. And so um, she's ROTC and she wants to be a foreign affairs officer. But she really does love that area and um, that that people there. And so um, keep praying for her. Uh, she will be doing an internship with Surge this summer. She's going to go to uh, Kenya uh, and uh, and do sports ministry, uh, soccer ministry, or football, football ministry uh, in Kenya for the summer. Uh, Wes is doing fine. He's he's in the welding technology program here at, at Wayne Community, and he's going to App State next year. And he wants to study art education and then go back overseas and teach at a missionary kid school. So that's really fun, too. I'm just so thankful for God's faithfulness to them. It doesn't always go that way. And it is only by his grace, right? <laughs> but that my kids one that wants to do that's huge but two yeah right so that's that's pretty neat um and then miriam is miriam is 13 and in the eighth grade and so all the things that you can imagine go with that just go ahead i mean it's it's not been easy but the lord is faithful and she does love the lord and i think she's learning you know how to make her faith her own um, and finally, David is deploying, which is um, our really big news. So he'll be gone for six months. He's deploying um, with the Air Force as a chaplain. And so from April to October, he'll be gone. Uh, and so that's really, that's a huge uh, prayer request for our family, um, just in that season of, of him being separated from us and what that means. And things are, you know, things are heating up around the world uh, in lots of ways. And so, you know, just praying for peace uh, for all of us um, and, uh, you know, protection over him, but also understanding that God is in control and sovereign over all things. But he is pumped because he's he is so sure that he's going to have an amazing opportunity to minister to airmen that he doesn't necessarily get here because they're going to be out of their comfort zone. They're going to be in a new place. They're going to be away from their families. And so he's already working on his sermon series. He's going to be doing Bible studies. He already does a ton of counseling. He'll be doing counseling over there. And um, he's just really excited for the opportunity. So I'm excited for him too. I I mean, I, I'll hate being apart, but I, I think like in a lot of ways he was made for this. <laughs> He's just going to really thrive. Um, so I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the news with the, the Schraders and, uh, and our ministries um, with uh, Surge and with the Air Force. And just to remi- just a reminder that David is actually um, endorsed by the Evangelical Presbyterian Church. So he is basically your chaplain <laughs> to the Air Force. Um, and, and he's a member of the Presbytery of the Alleghenies. He's a chaplain in that Presbytery. So, or it's not Alleghenies, is it? Is it the Presbytery? It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So um, just, you know, uh, so we appreciate, I mean, I know that I'm the one that's like financially supported by the church, but we really do ask for your prayers for him in his ministry, knowing that he is, um, you know, he's your ambassador to the military here. So, 